Hello everybody, welcome to the next one of our week-long vlogs. This one's probably going to be about a week-ish long again. It's Monday now, I didn't record at all over the weekend. We just had loads of family stuff on and the weather wasn't that amazing. So we just kind of went to the cinema, watched Early Man, which, which was okay. It was kind of funny, but it wasn't like, it wasn't as good as Wallace and Gromit, which is also a, another Nick Park Aardman animations feature. But it was all right. It's definitely, if, you, if you've got family, kids, it's, I'd take them along. It's be pretty fun for the kids, I think, but I, I wasn't too fussed about it. I, I wouldn't rush back to the cinema to go and watch it again. I've just got home. I've been in working away in Stoke today, so been on spent a lot of time on the motorway, and I'm back home. But Stevie, because she's lovely and amazing, has pre-made our food ready for tonight. She's made us some homemade burgers and some homemade spicy chips as well. All we need to do is just put that in the oven when we want to eat it. Drinking some Kona Big Wave beer. This stuff always reminds me of Florida because the shop across the road from the hotel sold big crates of it and we stocked up the fridge in the hotel with it and every day when we got home from the park I'd have a couple of bottles of it because obviously I was driving so I couldn't have a drink during the day. Talking of beer, beer related things, you know how you hear stories of people ordering strange things online when they've had a few beers? Well apparently on Saturday night when I'd had a few beers you're thinking, is it, what's he going to say? Did he order a speedboat or a jet ski or a sports car or something? No, I ordered a new vacuum cleaner. <laughs> That's the kind of party life that we live around here, guys. I ordered a new vacuum cleaner while, while I'd had a few beers. Party on. That's some very good looking burgers that Stevie's made. And look at these chips too. Chips are tasty. And I've made some spicy beans that have got onions and chilies in them. But Stevie's done salad with hers and everything. So looking... Very tasty. Salad with hers and everything. I got some lettuce out of the bag that's and chopped up with tomato. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that, that's salad as far as I'm concerned. I've just got some onions. That, that's as salad as I'm getting, having some onions. Welcome back to food vlog here on Springy Tales. This is all we seem to be filming this week. Is This is what we are eating. Well, tonight we are eating some Chinese fried rice that I've made. And this is all, that's the dog whinging in the background because he wants his food. Anyway. We are having some Chinese fried rice that I've made, and this is all kind of slimming well friendly. It's all sin free. Got some chicken in there, some onion, mushroom, uh, spring onions, peppers, and chilies, and a few spices, a bit of soy sauce, and a bit of like, scrambled egg in there as well. Make it all, mix it all together, chicken fried rice. Let's go and eat it. All right, we've actually made it outside for the first time in this week weekly vlog. It's not been an outside weather kind of week. Obviously I still had to take Max for his walks and stuff, but it's not been the kind of weather to take you guys along. We had quite a heavy frost last night. And you can see that there's still quite a lot of frozen water out on the pond here. It's been above freezing for most of the day, but that's still frozen there from last night. I guess it's been in the shade for most of the day under the trees. And Max here is debating going in there and he's going to really regret it because that water will be cold, mate. You'll regret it. I thought so. <laughs> Come on little dude, we're going this way. I'm actually kind of glad that this bit is semi-frozen because this would be really bad <laughs> if it was a little bit softer. So thank you freezing temperatures for making it not quite as muddy. Of course it's an exciting week this week because our theme park season finally begins on Saturday. We're only a few days away now from going to Blackpool Pleasure Beach for the opening day of the season and we've got a few exciting things lined up which we can't wait to show you guys. You can kind of see with the weather this week why the theme parks don't open through the winter here in the UK. It's touch and go. The, the theme park will definitely be open on Saturday, but we, we may struggle with some of the rides in terms of the operating conditions because it is forecast to be kind of cold and maybe some sleet and snow even. So, But fingers crossed. Fingers crossed it will be a bright day and I don't mind it being a bit cold as long as it doesn't snow on us and as long as we've got some rides open so we can actually ride them. Alton Towers doesn't open until... March the 17th, which is probably more sensible time of year, especially because the kind of the geography that Alton Towers is in is in quite a uh, remote area in terms of hilly landscape and remote roads and that sort of thing. So if you have bad weather, ice and snow, that sort of thing around there, it can be a real trouble getting there. Blackpool's not too bad because it's all motorway and main roads. Meanwhile, while I was talking to you guys, this little troublemaker is trying to break his toy, aren't you? Excuse me, I wasn't doing anything. Were you? You weren't doing anything, were you? You little cheeky monkey. See, personally, I would love it if our theme parks here in the UK opened all year round, but I, I can see with my kind of business head on that it's just really not feasible. I guess the 
the visitor numbers that they'd sustain through the winter months just probably wouldn't be high enough. Maybe if they opened a few select rides around Christmas, that sort of thing. And I, and I know a lot of the parks have done that in the past. That sort of thing might work. Uh, I know Alton Towers have done things that, over Christmas in terms of opening the kiddie areas for hotel guests only, but it's no good if you want to go and ride a roller coaster and it's no good kind of forcing people to stay in the hotels when you, you probably would get guests wanting to pay a little bit to enter the park. But in terms of the whole park opening, and I, I think there's just nowhere, perhaps with, the, perhaps with the exception of London, there's nowhere outside of London with the kind of year-round visitor numbers to sustain opening a theme park through the winter months, which is a shame because I like to ride roller coasters in December because I'm strange like that. It's Friday morning now before I start work. I'm going to leave this week's video there for now because I need to get this edited this morning before I start work and get it all uploaded and scheduled for YouTube ready to go on our usual Saturday evening slot or about five o'clock UK time because tomorrow we need to be out really early to go to Blackpool Pleasure Beach which is exciting so just about the time that this video gets released on YouTube and you guys start to watch it we will be just about finishing our day at Blackpool Pleasure Beach really looking forward to it the weather forecast is absolutely horrendous by the way I'm pretty sure that we're gonna get absolutely drenched but doesn't matter we're gonna have a nice day We've got lots of exciting things planned hopefully first public rides on the big one which is the big hyper coaster there and we've got some exclusive ride time on avalanche as well which is one of very few bobsleigh roller coasters in the world which is really cool I'm really looking forward to riding that and it's stevie's favorite roller coaster in the park so it's nice to have half an hour of exclusive ride time on there sorry there's not been too much to see this week it's not been the most interesting of weeks to be perfectly honest but i'm just really excited now to get the theme park season up and running whatever the weather we're gonna have a good day Let's go and do it. Our next video is going to be a theme park video. I can't wait for you guys to come along. With that said, thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe for our adventures. I changed my mind. The video didn't take very long to edit, so it's pretty much ready to go already. So I'm going to schedule it for tonight, Friday night. You can have the video a day early, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.